In the last video, I spent a couple days at Mount Rainier waiting for the clouds to clear. They never did. I had to move on, so I spent the morning driving from camp at Mount Rainier to Baker Lake, doing some boring chores in between. In this episode, I do some maintenance on my car, read, of course, pick up my new laptop charger, visit a farm run by mental patients, and cook tacos, this time with real meat. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sydney, and I quit my big girl job and have spent the last three months traveling around the country in my 2008 Volvo XC90. I kick this episode off by trying to find a campsite with lake access, to no avail, or so I thought. Hello, friends. I'm in the process of finding camp, and one of my wishes is that I can access the lake through the site. And I'm on my third site that I've scoped out and all of the lakefront sites are taken. There's a path here that somebody has bushwhacked for me and I'm going to see if I can make it to the lake from here. Yes, I have on fake rubber Birkenstocks. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't access the lake from this site. Ow. Look how dangerous this is. <laughs> Since I can't access the lake at any of the sites that I've uh, been to so far, I'm just gonna pick the prettier site. Camp for real this time. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and back into this spot. Even though I couldn't get a lake spot, this place is still beautiful. I'm about to call my mother on my satellite phone, which I've not used in quite a while. <sighs> I'm having a hard time connecting to the network because I'm under a bunch of trees. So I'm just gonna have to text her on my Garmin. So my brake light keeps coming on and it's saying my fluid is low, so we're gonna fill it up. Uh, and then I also need to refill some of my oil. Before I fill the brake container up, I'm going to check the brake pads underneath my car. I don't know how well I'll be able to see them, but it's worth a shot. Uh, I already checked the outside pads and they're fine, so I'm gonna crawl under. I'm gonna stick my phone in there and try to record. I don't know where they are. Oh, is that them? <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. I know nothing about cars. I shouldn't be this comfortable laying underneath my car, but I am. <sighs> this is this is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion I think I found them. I feel like that's good. I'm gonna crawl under and check the rest, so I'll update after. <sighs> 
the rear wheels are fine, but the front wheels, I couldn't really see any sort of pad. So either they're not there, <laughs> or they've worn away. So I don't really, I don't know that much about brakes. So anyways, I'm going to put some fluid in to make my car happy. I might actually be good, but I might wait to check it when I'm at a more flat area. I noticed there's another path here, so I'm gonna follow it and see if it takes me down to the lake. No way! you can walk down on. Back up I go. Dinner. charger at an Amazon locker. So that is where I'm headed. I got my cord and I just plugged it in. And it looks like it's charging. So now I have to go find Wi-Fi. So I found a coffee shop and I'm gonna go in there and order something. I don't like coffee, so I don't know what I'm gonna order. Probably like a tea. Uh, and then I'm gonna upload this video. Okay, I just got done uploading my video, so now it's time to go to the haunted farm thing place. No way. Yeah, so I'm FaceTiming my brother and now I've made it to the farm. So apparently this place was like run by um, mental patients. Is it the farm? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that some idea? Like literally, they had a mental hospital like right next door and um, they made the mental patients run the farm. <laughs> Which I think is a crazy idea that would not fly today. No, it wouldn't. Once the largest facility for mentally ill people in Washington State, Northern State Mental Hospital was a town unto itself. The hospital was established in 1909 after the overcrowded conditions at Western State Hospital came under public criticism. The Northern State's grand opening happened in 1912. 
The hospital site included patient and staff housing, a water reservoir, sewage system, lumber mill, quarry, steam plant, greenhouse, canning facilities, gymnasium, library, laundry, dining room, bakery, dairy, and a 700-acre farm for growing veggies and raising livestock. Oh my gosh, I don't know anything about farming, but what do you think this was? Uh, yeah, I don't know enough either. <laughs> like, these were obviously bays to eat, but is this like a cow? Like, what animal would fit? What is it? Please, someone tell me. What was, what was this building used for? What type of animals? A cemetery was also included in the site plan. At one time in the 1950s, about 2,700 patients lived at Northern State. This was the full capacity of the hospital during, according to the superintendent at the time. But he was still being pressured to take on more patients. The public perception of mental hospitals began to change in the 1970s, and Northern State Mental Hospital closed its doors in 1976 after the state legislature cut off funding. Some of the buildings, including the farm's housing ward, have since been torn down. A few of the remaining buildings are currently being used for job core projects and drug rehab. There's stables in here. <laughs> like, I wonder what each of these buildings were used for. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to my car and go find camp, but that is the abandoned mental hospital farm. <laughs> of the road but it's the only campsite that still has a fire ring that's open okay time to go chill at camp Since it is 4th of July, I'm treating myself to a beer. Happy 4th! I think I'm gonna bring my cooler out here and use it as a table. Thoughts? This is about to be a disaster. Oh. <laughs> and then I actually have real beef. So I will be chefing this up. Real meat, everybody.
The bees in Washington are literally crazy. They're like flies. I'm going to end the video here. Tomorrow I'm going to North Cascades National Park. Uh, so I'll film that as well. So thank you for joining me on this lovely camping journey days. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.